Hey, sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Involving a tourist bus. Converge on the East Village. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. <laughs> this office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? This. But the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away?
Looks like this note is for May. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Hmm, some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. I see. Yes! Whoa. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. I can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Whoa, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. 
This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. Get out of here. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is... You are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird... ...stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking it. Peter, hey, can I call you back? 
I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Okay. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by, just for a minute. Hey, Howard, think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex, might have just left a stain on my suit? Clarence, guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Uh, give him a pat on the head and point him towards Feast. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this is sleeping. Hey guys, bird watching? I got the pigeons over there. Can't have the ones inside feeling left out. Going down. MJ, I'm at the first location on your list, and guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself.
，蜘蛛侠就在附近。Shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. Corn, you just kind of want to go home. Oh! <laughs> 
I hope you new guys can up your game, because those last guys, yawn! Here, that location's supposedly an importer of souvenirs for Chinatown shops. What they're importing is not something I want as a memento. Dragons? Demons. Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. You guys look mad. I admit, I used all my good quips on the others, but I don't mind repeating myself.
I hope you new guys can up your game, because those last guys, yawn! Peter, that location is mostly an importer of souvenirs for Chinatown shops. What they're importing is not something I want as a memento. Drugs? Demons. Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. More guys! You guys look mad. I admit, I used all my good quips on the others, but I don't mind repeating myself. MJ, call the police. All the demons are incapacitated. Don't forget to bring me a souvenir. Cameras aren't cheap. If Felicia's really strapped, why is she leaving them lying around? I love making you chase me, Spider. Someday I might even let you catch me. Just not today. 
Black Cat does enjoy playing games with people, especially me. Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toombs, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer, and he's been moved to the Raft's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the Raft? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize... That's harsh. But so is my tax bill! Ten seventy-nine. Just got a tip on a bomb threat. Local officers, please converge on Civic Center. Got more explosives. Spider-Man. I'll get the lay of the land from the bomb squad. Demons have rigged explosives all over the building, but we can't get close. Point me at him, officer. I'm here to help. We've located the primary device. If you can disable it, it'll cough up an army. You can use that to locate the disabled secondary device. Got it. Keep your men back. I'll radio when it's clear. Wired in series. There, got the key. Got the key. Oh no, failsafe tripped. Timer's just engaged for the other bombs. Gotta move quick.
mean, um, thank you for the assistance. Anytime, officer. Anytime. me, Mr. Gruff Exterior. I know you love it. without a CD drug deal. Hey guys, you got prescriptions for this stuff?
situation's under control. Black Cat's been here. She was doing this in person the first time I caught her. Or did she catch me? This can't just be some elaborate flirtation. Hasn't she heard of dating apps? She's up to something. Meow. That's Ty Stone's place, and it's full of priceless art. You're playing with fire, Felicia. I guess that's how you roll. Friends, today we have a very special caller breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were publishing the Bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. So that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law. Just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind... Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it. Don't care. It is my responsibility to catch that pigeon. Thank you. Seen the last of me, you, you dirty bird! Attention, agents in Hudson Town. Command wants an update. Outpost is under siege by demons. Fly away, please!
Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know... Until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were, when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. 